Rachel, thank you for the presentation. Mm -hmm. I think when a lot of people hear about maternal mortality, they think of uh, better information for the clinician or for nurses. What you're really talking about is a tool that can help policymakers and data collectors at the state level, right? Yeah, so the general premise of the tool is for it to be used by policymakers either at the state or federal level. And, and the reason for this is because every state in the U.S. is basically, is basically doing something different for Which maternal. Which is a big problem. It's a huge problem. Um, you know, if you're trying to do an apples to apples comparison between states, how are you going to do that if everyone's doing something different? In the future, we want to add um, severe maternal morbidity into the tool. So for every one death, there's, depending on the location, 50 to 100 almost deaths. Um, and by adding all of these women into, um, into the simulation, we'll be able to understand the populations better and these same interventions can be applied to those women and we can have more impact on um, reducing rates of severe maternal morbidity as well. You mentioned using synthetic data to get a better approximation of the of uh, the problem in a local area. What, what does that look like? What's the benefit of synthetic data? I know that MITRE has, has worked a lot in this area in recent years, but I'm interested to know how you think that will help reduce maternal mortality. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and I know even a couple years ago, I wasn't familiar with what synthetic data was, but within this space, um, it is the best option and MITRE does have a lot of wonderful capabilities and data scientists that um, you know are really leading the field in using synthetic um, data to understand um, different healthcare issues. Um, specifically, synthetic data allows us due to the you know the privacy concerns with there being you know a limited number of maternal deaths in the US even though there should be none um, it allows us to look at the you know the defactors of those women so age race income employment um, county of county of residence and understand their factors without actually having to identify those women. So they're not technically real, but all of their factors are real and it'll, it would allow policymakers to understand their populations without having to worry about the privacy, privacy concerns surrounding data. Okay, and hopefully move us closer to none, right? And yes, closer to none. There should not be a single death in, in the U.S. from from pregnancy and considering you know all of the resources that we have and capabilities that we have um, and that we're the only industrialized nation in the world with an increasing maternal mortality rate, this really is a public health concern that needs to be addressed. Well, Rachel, thank you very much for, for sharing this work with us. Yeah, of course, thank you.